Hi, I'm AJ Piscor, Combustion and Control Specialist for Lessman Instrument Company, and today I want to talk to you about the Slate Limit Control Module. So the Limit Control Module can be set up as a high limit or a low limit. It's all characterizable uh, within the Slate software, and I can show you that a little bit later on in the video. Uh, you can set it up as a hard limit, which would enable a burner shutdown, or you can set it up as a soft limit that would just give the operator a early indication that you are approaching the shutdown of the system. Uh, so you can do the shutdown in a number of ways. Uh, one way that you can do it is through the uh, contacts, the relay contacts that are located at the bottom of the module. You would program the relay to open or close upon uh, exceeding or dropping below the threshold, depending upon how you set the system up. You can also have the limit module talk directly to the burner control module without having to do any additional wiring to indicate when you've reached that critical limit for high temperature, for example. The limit module can also be used as a notification to the burner control module for auto ignition for your high temperature applications where you're above 1400 degrees. You can communicate that to the burner control module so that it can behave properly once it's above that auto ignition temperature. So the interesting thing about this limit module is that not only is it used as a safety module, in this case a high temperature limit, but the unused cells can be repurposed as either additional safeties or as a process related function, uh, essentially mimicking the same types of inputs and outputs that you can use with the optional analog input output module. So in this demo example, I have a high temperature limit going to this J-type thermocouple. I have it set up so that when I pinch it with my fingers, it will exceed the threshold and shut the burner down. So we'll do that right now. and we've initiated a safe shutdown of the burner system. Now on this limit module, now it doesn't display the temperature here, that would be displayed on the local display, um, but what we have here is an alarm light indicating that it was the high temperature limit that shut the burner system down. Now by code, this needs to be a manual reset. Once the temperature goes below the threshold, which it is, I manually reset the high temperature limit uh, to enable that back into the interlock string. If you have any questions about the limit control module, you can reach me at the information below. There's also links to some of the other Slate module videos that we've created. And thanks for watching.